Putin's war crimes are the next level. War crimes, on steroids, have been leveled at Russian President Vladimir Putin over his country's invasion of Ukraine. Lindsey Graham, a Republican senator from the United States, has also expressed concern about the real potential for nuclear use by the Kremlin. Senator Blumenthal and I want to put everybody in this Congress on notice that the threat of a use of a nuclear device by Russia is real and the best way to deter it is to give them clarity as to what happens if they do that. They will be in a war with NATO, he said at a press conference he held with Democrat Senator Richard Blumenthal. Russia was previously included on a global list of offenders by the UN for the murder of 136 children in Ukraine in 2022. According to a report submitted to the UN Security Council, UNSC, by a diplomat, Russian forces and affiliated groups, maimed 518 children and carried out 480 attacks on Ukrainian schools and hospitals. According to the report seen by Reuters, 91 children were used as human shields by the Russian military. Putin is committing, on steroids, war crimes, which is a key point. Russia is now on the United Nations global list of offenders for the murder of children in Ukraine. The leader of Russia's mercenaries has accused the government of covering up atrocities in Ukraine. Putin allegedly plots a nuclear power plant attack in Zaporizhia that will involve a radiation leak. Russia accuses Ukraine of attacking a vital link between the mainland and Crimea. A lull in Ukraine's counteroffensive, in Putin's estimation, Ukraine is allegedly holding back large attacks in the areas of Bakhmut and Lyman. Russia has been accused of supercharged war crimes. Allegations of on steroids, Russian war crimes have been made. During a press conference with Democrat Richard Blumenthal, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham made the remark. Senator Blumenthal and I want to put everybody in this Congress on notice that the threat of a use of a nuclear device by Russia is real, and the best way to deter it is to give them clarity as to what happens if they do that. They will be in a war with NATO, he said. His words, war crimes on steroids, committed by Russia. The regional governor of southern Ukraine has confirmed that at least two people were killed in a Russian attack on the city of Kherson on Friday. The attack on a municipal transport company was first reported by Governor Alexander Prokudin in a post on the Telegram messaging app. He said one man, 55 years old, was killed instantly and five others were injured badly enough to require hospitalization. Later, he reported that a 43-year-old man had also succumbed to his injuries in the hospital. Ukraine's Deputy Prime Minister Denis Shmyl has declared the counterattack launched by his country's forces against Russia's invaders a success. Mr Shmyl, who was in the UK this week for the Ukraine Recovery Conference, said on BBC Radio 4's Today programme, the counter-offensive is not only offensive. It might take some time. It's not a stroll in the park. Over the past two weeks, we have retaken over 113,000 acres of land. And now we travel. Seven kilometers behind enemy lines into the heart of occupied territory. That means it was successful, and the counter-offensive will go on. Speaking of the post-war rebuild, the Kyiv politician said that it could cost, double, the current World Bank estimation of 411 billion US dollars, 323 billion pounds, which applies, only to damages, on land currently under Ukraine control, should the country's armed forces expel Moscow's forces. It follows the £50 billion pledged at the London Recovery Summit to help revive Ukraine's economy.